Hey guys, Lizard Lee here for Full Moon Silhouette Day 1, I guess. I just, I want to take a break from Four Heavenly Beasts right now. I have had a very crazy few weeks and I, I just want to do a small project. So I'm pulling it from Bewitching Cross Stitch by Joan Elliott. And, oh crap, is there one that isn't the pattern? Because I shouldn't be showing off the pattern. Oh, here we are. These guys. So I already did this one for my mom. But my sister, her husband, and their kids have two solid black cats now. So I was like, this is perfect. I can do this for Cecilia, the girl. And one of these two for, there we go, for Anubis, the boy. I think this one, just because those are nice compliments, but haven't decided yet. I'm, I might not even finish one of them today. I don't know. I, I like I said, I just want some downtime. <laughs> I'm exhausted. So, yeah. Sorry, I'm not done with Four Heavenly Beasts, I promise, but Liz needs a break. Ooh. Okay. That's all I'm going to stitch now. Alrighty, then we'll talk about Haruhi. Hooray! I hated Haruhi. The end. I still hate her. Like, even by the end, she was still just a terrible person. But did you like the show? I mean, I'm never going to rewatch it. But I don't re like it? regret watching it. Same. It was okay. Okay. I just like, okay, the characters I liked the most were the time traveler, who was just a wimp and a pushover and a doormat mm -hmm. and it drove me insane uh the main guy i kind of liked but there were way too many times when he took too long to stand up and say something that i was like is he the protagonist i don't think so uh the esper was i don't know the least characterized of the characters i feel like i got to know him the least yeah he doesn't get along yeah <laughs> like so for people who have no idea what we're talking well, about i wasn't done oh, okay. and the alien i really liked the alien especially by the end i cried about her so yes. now you may go um the melancholy of suzumi no haruhi, haruhi is suzumi yeah yeah it's it's a it was an anime that became really 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 popular in 2005 ish um i want to say and uh, blew up its sort of weird slice of life. And it, like in many ways, it's like, oh, it's just kids at a school making a club. But the girl who makes the club is eccentric, to say the least. She wants to find aliens and espers and time travelers and is a spoiled brat, so to speak. Um, like, she usually gets her way and thus is kind of not usually? a good person. When did she not get her way? I mean... In the end? A few occasions. But anyway, <laughs> um, so... She's not a great person all the time, and uh, the protagonist is just another guy at the school who um, gets kind of dragged along into this, except he finds out that the three other people she pulled into the program, a quiet girl, a sort of wimp girl who's uh, a year older and, yes, very attractive, and this foreign exchange student guy, um, are in fact an esper, a time traveler, and an alien, because they basically think that Haruhi, in some way or another, is subconsciously God. She doesn't really know it, but what she wants, she kind of gets up to an extent, and she can't ever know that. So there's a whole bunch of wacky hijinks on trying to solve it, the problems she causes and how they deal with that. It's got some very cool scenes, it's got some ridiculous scenes, and it's got a lot of, like, just, yeah, normal everyday life, or eccentric everyday life nonsense. Um, because it's definitely not about... Like, one of the things that's, I know it annoyed you, but I think it is kind of the point of the show, is that the main character is, like, the only one who calls her out, because to the others, they're like, well, we can't stop her, because... She'll end the world She could do literally anything. destroy the world. That's, like, the first arc is her kind of deciding, this world is boring, I'm going to move on to a new one. Um, but it's, uh... I don't know, as far as slice of life goes, the weirdness of it all makes it interesting, and I like the mystery of it and whatnot. Uh, unfortunately, it never really goes anywhere. There's some fun stuff that they do, but uh, they definitely don't um, 
I know, they don't really move the plot, so to speak. Like, mm-hmm. there, there's a little bit of growth. I've forgotten that part of the problem is that in the anime, it doesn't go as far as I thought. I thought there were a few more things that were covered in the anime that are just from books that I'd read, uh, which is unfortunate because, yeah, there's not as much growth as I expected, or some of it, it's like right at the end and you don't really get to see it. Um, but, I don't know, I enjoyed rewatching it, especially, even, even Endless 8, which is a poor decision, and I'm just going to spoil it right now, that in the second season, they decided that because in, this is all based off light novels, there was a, a 30-ish page little section of one of the light novels where they're stuck in summer. Every single summer, at the end of summer, uh, Haruhi, for some reason, is displeased with how summer went, even though they did, like, everything on her massive, endless summer list. And so she restarts summer. And and she doesn't realize it, by yeah, the way. Yeah, so, she's always unaware of what she's doing. Yeah, that was one of the things. When I was Googling, like, to find out if other people also hated her, a lot of people didn't like her because of the Endless Eight thing. And I was like, she didn't know. No one ever told her. She did not know. I can't yeah. blame her for that. I blame the people who were like, yeah, let's do eight episodes of basically the same thing instead of, like, four or five. Yes, and that's the thing. Is they <laughs> eight episodes with very few changes in between. like, Or rather, very few plot changes. Like, even if they showed the exact same scene, like, frame for frame, they all have changed the outfits on every character. So they didn't even, like, save money on this. It was you know, just... I was really hoping, because the, the alien, every single time, she picks a different mask... I was hoping at some point there would be a reason for it. You know, like, that was just her mm. trying to get other people to, to realize that time had changed. No, there, there was never any explanation for it. So it's just like, oh. Yeah. Aw. There's a lot well, of little I, things I, like I, that. I just work. wanted that because, uh, you already said spoiler. Yeah. She remembers every single time. Like, yes. they've been through this 15,500 times, and she remembers every single one. But she doesn't say anything because it it doesn't matter. Like it's not she's, her job. She's there to observe. Is her uh, yeah. Objection. It doesn't matter if she's having fun or not. But she doesn't really experience emotion necessarily the same way as everybody else. So yeah, it's it's very um, it's very unfortunate that they decided to do that. It's just the short because also especially for like people who like the books, they were like, well, there's so much other content that you could have talked about. Yeah, in seven episodes. <laughs> Instead, you just did this episode eight times, and it's got some interesting ideas, but this could have been done in, like, two, three, Four five. at the max. Yeah, it, 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 it really, eight was pushing yeah. hard. So. But I didn't hate them. Like, going into it, you told me we had to watch the first one, and then you said we were going to redo it, and I was like, no, that's stupid. Like, there were minor changes, but I actually didn't hate it as much as I was expecting to. Like, I didn't walk away from it angry like a lot of people do. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I think they could have accomplished that in fewer episodes. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately that colors a lot of people's opinions of it. And she is not a good person. Like, part of the point of the show is the growth of Haruhi and the rest of the club because of what they're doing. Like, it's just like any other slice of life. Like, oh, they're growing up, they're changing. And in this case, they're aliens and espers and weirdos and whatnot, and so they're becoming more normal. Like, they're learning to, like, think for themselves rather than just be a part of their group or to have more emotional attachment to their group and blah, 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 blah. Um, But you don't get to see a ton of that in the show because... Yeah, they kind of cut it really early. Like, Haruhi is becoming a better person by the end of it due to, like, one major arc where the main character literally almost punches her. In fact, has to be stopped from punching her because of something that she's doing that is punchable, in my opinion. I thought he should have done it, like, the prior episode. Like, I I felt like it took him too long to say something. And I'm generally against hitting people, but, like, I'm okay with shouting at people. Like, if you need it to be punched into you that what you're doing is wrong and you're abusing someone, either emotionally, physically, whatever, I will punch you. Like, this is ridiculous. You are essentially torturing someone else. That's what she was doing, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, she drugged that girl. She She gave her alcohol without her consent. And then she was like, oh, yeah, kiss this guy for our movie. And, like, I'm still really angry about it. And it took them all way too long to do anything and to say anything. I understand that they don't want the world to end, but, like, that was disgusting on so many levels. It bothered me so much. Like, it never went anywhere. Like, it it was just like he was about to kiss her. And it was stopped. 
But even still, just the idea that that was happening was still just, it was too much for me. It makes, I'm still very heated and angry about it. And I wouldn't say it never went anywhere, but yes. Well. The whole point of that whole scene is to like show her going, because like, so to give some context, part of the reason that scene is so ridiculous, and I'm not saying it's okay, I think it's incredibly poor writing at best, um, is because she does so much ridiculous junk anyways, they kind of wanted to show her crossing the line to have like a character freak out at her. But unfortunately, it just comes off as like, this is ridiculous, because one problem with the main character is to be the sort of air quotes everyman, uh, they make him way too stupid at times. Oh um, my god, he was yeah. so stupid. It, it, it is very frustrating where he just, like, doesn't believe stuff or doesn't get stuff or doesn't say stuff that, like, obviously you, the audience, has clearly figured out by this point. And you're just like, okay, are you legitimately slow? What's going on here? Like, how can you not? So unfortunately, those two things kind of combine in that one big scene. But the point of the scene is, yes, he does almost punch her, and she finally realizes she's acting way the hell out of line. Mm -hmm. um, and that is sort of the start of her arc of growth, and she is actually better after that, despite what you may or may not think. Better? She's still bad, though. Yes, she's still got a long way to go. I still hate her. <laughs> yes, I'm aware. Um, but yeah, I... It's not a good scene. It's like just the oh, it's a utter, sh scene. Like utter it's, short of it. Yeah, it makes me so angry even just thinking about it. But oh, so I just remembered one of the things I wanted to say with Endless Eight. So they do all these things. They do her list, and it takes them two weeks. And so they have a Sunday remaining, and she's like, "Oh, okay, we finished everything. I put aside tomorrow in case we wanted to do something." But I guess since we're done, you know, you guys are free. And so. She walks out of the restaurant that they're all eating together in, and everybody in this moment is like, oh, man, like, we have tomorrow where we're not going to do anything, we're not going to hang out, and time's going to rewind to back, re rewind back two weeks again. What are we going to do? And I, I'm pretty sure, was it the first episode out of eight that I called it? First or second, yeah. I'm, I am I want to say it was the first, but, I, like, it was really early on where, um... In the episode, the main character, I can't remember his name. Uh, Kion. Kion. When he's like, oh, have you guys finished your homework? And Harvey, he's like, yeah, it should just take you like three days. I was like, yeah, they just need to finish their homework together. Like that's, I was like, Kion, you need to just do your homework. So lo and behold, after 15,500 plus attempts, he stands up as she's walking out. And he's just like, no, Haruhi, we all need to have a study date together tomorrow, and we can all do our homework together. And I, I just screamed at the TV, because that was the eighth time that she was about to walk away, and he finally said something, and he finally said the correct answer, which is what I started with, which was just, do your homework with her, oh my god. Like, because my thing was, although, I even at some point, I was like, it doesn't even have to be homework. She clearly set aside Sunday for you guys to all hang out together. Just say, hey, is there anything else anybody wants to do? No? Well, I still want to do this. Let's do this tomorrow, because we have all day. Like, I would have thrown out anything. I would have tried anything other than just sitting there freaking out and letting the Esper say that I need to tell her I love her, and that would apparently fix it. I never thought that would work. Like, I know that the kiss worked earlier on, but I didn't think him saying I love you would work, because... Why would she believe it? Well, he clearly still had a crush on the time traveler at that point. Because his point is, well, first of all, his point is that he doesn't know what the heck Haruhi wants to have happen to fix this summer. So it might be she wants a romantic moment with the guy that she likes. Mm, and maybe. so that's why I think it's a very reasonable conclusion for him to come to. But yes, yeah, so it's a fun scene in theory because he's like, you haven't done your homework, have you? He's like, no, I also have not done my homework. And, you know, that's kind of fun. But yeah, after eight episodes, you're like, yep, it was the homework. And I called it very early on. So, yeah, I just... I really wish... I mean, heck, even if it went from, like, a 12-episode season at that point to a 6-episode season, would have been so much better. Yeah. Like, I, I, I will take the less plot and the less episodes over pointless filler. What do you think of the movie? I loved the movie. What was the title? The Disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya? Loved it. As you can tell, Suzumiya was barely in it. It was great. <laughs> and by the time she was in it, I mean, she still, she was still doing things that made me angry and uncomfortable. Like, I just, I don't like her. And 
I, I have friends that are shy, like that time traveler. And I, I've met people that are willing to humiliate others because they think it's funny. And I, I hate those kinds of people. Like, no. If somebody's okay with you teasing them and whatever in public, that's one thing. But if you are clearly, like, so embarrassed that you're crying and you're saying no, you, you need to just stop. I, just, I hate her so much. <laughs> she constantly was putting the time traveler in these, like, there was a bunny outfit, a sexy bunny outfit, by the way, like Playboy bunny, and um, a Mrs. Santa Claus outfit. Like, it's just, I hated it. I hated it so much, and I like I, I don't care if she's just going along with it because she doesn't want the world to end. No one deserves to be treated like that for any reason, in my opinion. I don't think it's right. I don't think it's okay. Okay. What did you think of the movie? I liked it. It was pretty good. They did a decent job. Like they make. Uh... I cared more about the Esper in the movie than I ever did in the show. Yeah, and <laughs> you cared a lot about the alien. Oh, yeah, no, that was when I cried about the alien. Like, I'm still really, really upset about that, too, because that was just... that Ah, oh, that, that was so not okay for me. Which I thought was good writing, that they managed to make that a very emotional moment. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a very good arc. And I believe that, like, there's arcs for each character. Like, that's the alien's arc. There's also an arc for the time trial. Not in the show, but in general. And that's why I can feel kind of underdeveloped, because they didn't really get to all of that, so, you know, you're kind of just left with, like, okay, so there's an expert. He, he has, like, no major opinions on anything. I mean, in in the movie, that's when you found out he was also in love with Haruhi, yeah. so it probably broke his heart every single time that he was like, yeah, Kion, you should give her a kiss, you should tell her I love you. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, he wanted to. And that was like in the endless eight. He was always like, "Well, maybe I'll say it." Mm -hmm. No, I can't do that. I don't want to confuse her. Mm -hmm. So, like, I had the idea that maybe he did have a crush on her, but I was like, you know, he, he probably realized very early on that he has no chance and got over it. Then the movie came around. And I was like, "Oh no, no, he he just falls more in love with her every single time," which kind of makes me uncomfortable. Like, he's into a woman that is just terrible to other people. Like, wh why can't he be the one that hooks up with Haruhi instead of Kion? Because like. Obviously, he's into that. I'm just saying. Because, I mean, the conclusion they always come to is, gee, you have no powers, you're not special, you must be someone she's actually interested in for being a person who spells that out in the movie. I know. But, I, I, you know. I know, but, like... <laughs> so, like, I cared about him for, like, a minute. Because <laughs> he, he finally had something. But, oh, man, the, the alien... That, that just, that broke me. Like, that's actually something I don't want to spoil. Yeah. I feel like that's the one thing I don't want to spoil about this stupid show. <laughs> I see. But I feel like you wouldn't have the same impact in the movie if you didn't watch the show. Yeah, no, there's no Like, way. you have to watch the show. It's not, it's not going to work otherwise. It's yeah. not a movie you can watch standalone. They, um, it's worth noting that Haruhi kind of one exploded back then and was like super super popular and yeah I remember seeing the dance that they do it at the end of the show yeah. everywhere and I was always just like oh I should maybe watch that one day but it never interested me and now I see why <laughs> like and then it just... too it actually sort of I don't know how true this is but um, to my understanding sort of kickstarted an entire genre uh, because of one episode near the end of the second season where they're doing a school festival, and Haruhi and the alien um, fill in for their school's rock club, because Haruhi, of course, tried out for all the clubs and didn't like any of them, even though she's great at all of them. Literally, she's amazing at everything. Mm -hmm. She's a god. It makes sense. Yeah. Haruhi was the singer, and the alien was the Well, she was the singer. Guitarist? And the, bassist? I don't know. She was singer, lead guitar. Uh, not The alien, Nagato, was uh, second guitar, I think, and then the bassist and the drummer were the normal people. The lead singer was main guitar? Or second guitar. They both had a guitar. Well, the alien's the one that got the solo. I feel like that would be the main guitar person. They both go. Never mind. Doesn't matter. They and both had, had a guitar. guitar solo, not a musical solo. Like a She had the opening solo, but then the other... It, oh, they whatever. both had a guitar. So, 
Either it way, was, it was good music. I enjoyed it. That one scene is kind of famous for launching an entire genre because it kind of kicked off what, or I, I believe I've heard from people that it's what inspired or helped kick off something called K on, or it was around that top. And between those two things, there was an entire genre of just you know high school girls joining the rock club and doing music and whatnot. And so, yeah, that one scene is. I guess fairly influential. I, again, I, I don't have like sources on any of this, so I could be totally wrong. It's like no, the timeline doesn't actually add up, and everyone just thought that. But that is what I have heard parroted multiple times. That like, yeah, I've never heard of that until I yeah. watched it. Like, I, I knew of. That's because you've never heard of K on. Yeah, I don't know what K on is. Which I've never but watched. I did know of. Um, oh gosh, well, I looked it up then too. Mizuku, the girl with the blue hair and the band. Uh, I think I've got it wrong. Anime, blue, blue hair singer? Blue bear singer, yes, that's what I was going for. Hatsune Miku. Yeah, I've heard that's of That's the one I've heard of. The world's fakest pop star. <laughs> that's funny. Like, let's see, when, when, what year did this come out? Do, 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 2007. So that was after Haruhi, because you said Haruhi was 2005? Uh, I think that's my guess, but I, I can't, like, say for certain off the top of my head. Haruhi. Haruhi. I can, I can spell. Ugh. Took me to a website. I just want to go to Google. Let's see... Oh! No, there's no way that's right. Released 2009? Um, it I, could be later. I could be completely wrong. But maybe, maybe that was the manga? The manga was first published in 2003. Mm. Now, the anime being 09 might be right, because that's around when I was... I knew I watched it, like, in college, so it might have been end of college. Original run, 2004? Oh, no, that's the manga still. Sorry, I'm looking for anime. Do, 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 2006. So, still before the one I mentioned. Yep. And then it was rebroadcast with new episodes in 2009. Now it makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. I. Yeah. Hated Haruhi. Still hate her. I, I don't. I will never watch that show again. I just. I'm aware of your stuff. She was a show. terrible person. I just. I can't. I can't watch someone treat someone else that terribly, and I can't watch someone else just accept that treatment. And I can't watch someone else watching someone else accept that treatment without stepping in. I just, I can't, I can't. Mm -mm. I hated it. No. You hated it, huh? I hated it. Did you, did you enjoy any of it? I enjoyed some of it. You know, the part where Harry he wasn't there. I see. Or where Kion almost punched her. Mm -hmm. I, I was hyping him up, but he didn't do it. I mean, he tried. He tried, but he was stopped, and he took too long to do it anyways, so... Well, that's her, That's back to the whole, yes, he's done He's stupid. He was so stupid. Like, oh, she's not a god. Blah, blah, blah. Dude, you went to another freaking world, basically. Like, you went to the spirit realm, and... And you... you okay, okay, buddy, sure. <laughs> you use your last brain cell to believe that she's not a god. <laughs> Like, yeah. The only thing I knew about the show going into it, I was like, yeah, Haruhi's like a godlike person or something, and she changes her hair a lot. And <laughs> it's funny that both of those were either proved or disproved in the first episode. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or, well, by the second episode. Yeah, pretty much. Like, she's not doing her hair different after the first episode, so. Yeah, no. I like every single episode, every single clip I'd seen was taken from just those quick shots of her having a different hairstyle sitting at the desk. Yep. Which is what Keon's voiceover talking about her changing her hair yep. every day of the week. And then he mentions it, she chops it off, she stops. Honestly, I kind of wish she had kept changing it. I, I thought, I feel like that'd be more interesting. She stopped because something about what he said made her think he was more interested if she didn't, if I recall correctly. Oh, I don't know. And I just, so like, just like the, the things, ponytail. Mm-hmm. One of the things I really liked about Cardcaptor Sakura was that she had a different costume every single episode. Like, it changed. I loved that. 
So her no longer changing her hair was just disappointing. Um, yeah, I don't uh, particularly know what to say about that other than, like, obviously they have the budget. They did the entire Endless 8 with everyone wearing different outfits on every occasion. But, um, yeah, no, I mean, like, it's not... It's definitely a show of its time. Like, it's hard to explain that as well. Like, um, because it's just, uh... It's one of those things that it's hard to, like, easily point to and go, oh, yeah, this is what made it great. It's just kind of, like, it just kind of caught. Um, she was always considered, like, a horrible person. Like, even talking, like, after you watched it, I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, Liz hated it. And I chatted with some people, and they're like, yeah. Um, a lot of them were like, yeah, I hate Haroe, but I like the show. Or I hate Haroe, and thus I hate the show. Like, it's not a lot of, they're, like, no one who really likes the show goes, like, yes, this is a well-adjusted individual. It was just sort of... To me, it was wacky enough that I don't get upset about what she's doing, because this is just not real life. Like, I don't get angry when Elmer Fudd gets, like, shot by himself because of Bugs Bunny anymore, because, like, why would I? He's Elmer Fudd. It's not real. And, like, Haruhi walks that line, in my opinion. Um, where you draw the line is going to vary a lot, though, just person to person. So I totally get not liking it. Um because obviously, like, a ton of people have not liked it, or they've been like, yeah, I liked it when I first watched it, or I didn't later, or even a couple of them were like, yeah, I liked it when I first watched it, thought I'd hate it on rewatch, still like it, don't know why. Like, it's just one of those shows that kind of, or even stories, I guess, because it's got light novels, that just kind of resonates with people. I don't know. Obviously not with you. Well, no. parts of it did. I don't know. I think, unfortunately, if it had gotten more, you might like it more, but... Like, if you could actually see the character go through an arc and become a better person and whatnot, but I don't know to what degree she becomes a better person, because I only read a little, because I think Alex loaned them to me, and I was like, sure, I'll read a couple of these. And I was like, these aren't bad. Uh, and then I never touched another one, because <laughs> that's how I do. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's, it's a unique thing, that's for sure. It was unique. I will say, I love the premise. There was way too much fan service. Oh, yeah, okay, so yeah, I, I forgot to mention that, but yes, it is absolutely partially famous for the fan service, which, yeah, I don't like, but as far as, like, gross fan service goes, it's not bad, it's just there's a lot of it. Um, so, like, my issue isn't that it's like, oh, yeah, we have to do close-ups on yeah. the girl's butt and the girl's boobs or whatever. It was that Haruhi was always grabbing the girl's boobs. Yes, I And know. putting her in these positions and putting her in these outfits. That's what made me angry because fan service usually doesn't bother me to the level that this one did, and it's because of Har Haruhi's attitude about it. Yeah, I know, and like to me again, it's back to that Elmer Fudd thing of like, yeah, she's a complete sociopath in real life. This would never be acceptable, but to me, it didn't bother me. So, but I also, I normally hate shows with fan service because to me, it's just like an immediate sign that this show is going to be bad. Mm. Um, because it's kind of like. It's kind of like action movies. Like, the point of an action movie, especially for, like, most of the 90s, was not to have a stellar plot. It was to have a lot of cool explosions. explosions. And cool action scenes. Yeah, and cool action scenes. And because of that, you could tell, just from the fact that it was being marketed as an action movie and whatnot, that if you were going in expecting a good plot, this is going to suck. Um, and likewise, I felt similar to um, that with... Like, a lot of anime, just, like, if I see fan service and people are like, oh, it's fan service I just don't even bother. Because, to me, it's usually a sign that the show is going to try and rest on its laurels as having a bunch of fan service and people will watch anyways, rather than having a clever plot or good storytelling. And I do think there's a lot of really good storytelling in Haruhi. Like, I didn't bother to point it out to you, but, like, after he almost punches her when he goes to talk to her the first time, afterwards, after, like, not talking to her for however long. And she's she, all mopey and bratty. Well, yes. That she's, made me very angry. But she's also alone in the room putting her hair into a ponytail for the first time since the whole first thing, because she's, like, freaking out about the whole thing. They don't resolve it super well, for the record. Like, it bothers me that, like, not only do they bother to go to this thing, but because they want to, like, save the development or not do it until later, or maybe never de do it, it just sort of, like, resolves as a, oh, well, oh, well, we're okay now. Um, we'll just not talk about it. And she tries to be better, but there's no, like, objective, like, hey, I'm sorry, that was terrible, you know? Mm -hmm. um, which I do think would have really helped. Like, yeah, hey, I, her acknowledging, like, yeah, I, I went way too far. Yeah, I, w I wish she had apologized to the time traveler. Yeah. That would have gone really far with me. The fact yeah. that she didn't, nope. Yeah, and I Hard agree. Hard stop, I hate her. I, I agree with that. 
Um, it's not well written, but again, like it's a thing of its time, and I'm not using that exactly the way people might think, but it just it was weird how hard it caught on, and, and the vibe was usually that yeah, this is just completely wacky. I think it was that it was doing slice of life, but it just didn't care to like even try to be grounded. Like it would have grounded moments because that made for good plot, and even though it had fan service and stuff, it still had good writing or decent writing. Um, so it just resonated for a lot of people with, you know, doing different things. It wasn't just being one thing or another. Mm. Um, but obviously there's some problems with that if you don't like certain things. Yeah, I, I don't like bad protagonists. I don't know, can you even call her a protagonist? I mean, I'd say Keon's the protagonist. She's arguably the antagonist. Yeah, like... By every definition. I just, I hate her so much. But yeah, you don't do well with bad people. I really don't. Um, like, I like when there are some redeeming qualities, and I I, I can't really, think of one for her until the movie, and I, that's just unacceptable to me. I feel like you need to see Casino, but that's going to be a slog. You're probably going to hate it, but you have to, given you live here. Like, eh. it's, it's literally Like, it's a gangster history. thing, right? Like, I don't really care for those. Yes, but it actually happened. Like, 99.9% .9 of that is literally true with different names. Mm. Um... Well, you know what? No. Not gangster. Mobster. Yes. Mobsters I usually don't like. Gangsters I actually usually do like movies about gangsters. But every single mobster movie I've What movie I've seen, about gangsters? Uh, pr uh, Precinct 13. 13th Precinct? I, I got nothing I haven't seen. Um, uh, what else have I seen? <sighs> you would put me on the spot. I would, wouldn't I? Uh, gangs... Because, like, I don't think you've watched The Wire... No, that's a show. I said movies. I know, and you liked Oz, but that's not really gangsters, I would argue. Mm -mm -mm. That's and, people in jail. And the ones you liked weren't the gangsters. Well, I'm not. it's not necessarily the gangsters themselves that I like. It's the movies with them. Oh, I know. It's just that you don't like shows that don't have a clear, defined good guy. Like, if everyone is like, oh, we're watching, like, Goodfellas, Casino, those kinds of movies where, yeah, this is all about, like bad people but it's kind of realistic and it's interesting to see how they'll destroy themselves or even how they succeed in some cases um you are just not on board yeah. okay i typed in gangster movies and uh, it popped up with mafia movies and that's not uh, like i don't know if it makes sense i feel like there are two different Books. Categories. Yes, I feel like those are two very. Different I feel things. like you're like, one of the few mobsters people in the are world. people who have a ton of money, and gangsters are the people who are trying to get by with very little money. Um. No. I mean. Okay. Okay. Blue collar versus white, white collar. collar. I get what you're going for, but you haven't seen no? a lot of mafia movies because a lot of them start that way. That's the whole point. Is it's a blue collar oh. guy. Mm. The gang. The rise from poverty is a huge factor in almost all gangster and mafia movies. Like that's just part of it. Oh, it's Assault on Precinct 13, I think. Yeah, that's... that's I, I know what you mean, yeah. I, just, I liked the original and the remake. I just also don't really consider that a gangster movie. I mean, it is. They're getting wow. attacked by a gang. Yeah, but it's not about the gangsters. And yet, the movie... When the LAPD kills several members of the South Central gang Street Thunder, the remaining members avenge themselves by way of a bloody war waged against cops and citizens alike. Caught in the crossfire is St. Ethan Bishop, who's, managed, who's managing a skeleton crew at the local and soon-to-be yeah, the... closed, closed police precinct. As the gang members close in, Bishop forms an unlikely alliance with a group of prisoners in order to defend the station and the lives of everyone in it. Gang popped up in that. A lot. The protagonist is not a gangster. And I specifically already said they don't have to be the protagonist. Yeah, but I feel like for the definition... If you, if, you, if you change that to something besides a gang, it wouldn't have been the same. Because they wouldn't have reacted the same way. My point being that when I say you don't like gangster and mobster movies, it's because by most people's definition, a gangster or mobster movie has a gangster or mobster protagonist. Okay. And Assault on Precinct 13 is not a gangster protagonist. I mean, no, it's the police officer that's the main protagonist, but he works together with people that are in prison. Yes. And, <laughs> um, and okay, what is more. the other movie? Um, Warriors. The Warriors. That would, I guess, qualify. I'm this. pretty sure they're considered a gang. They absolutely are. It's yeah, just, it's street like gangs about rages. Post are street gangs weirdness. that range. Okay, I can't read. A turf battle between New York City street gangs that rain that rages from Coney Island to the Bronx. I love that movie. Yeah. Oh my god. 
Like, Ajax was my favorite character. That is how much I love that movie, that I remember my favorite character's name. That is an interesting way to show your love for something. I mean, like, I'm it, usually not good with names, I know, so I feel like I when I, I do just, remember I, them, it stands out. I feel like with no context, that's not obvious. I, um, I mean, the people who are watching my channel have context already. Sure, yeah, they, they're completely up on the Liz lore. Probably. If they're listening to this, they probably are. There's a good chance. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, I have nothing else. I don't know if you have anything else. No, I think I'm good. We talked a lot. We got way off subject. Personally, I don't recommend Haruhi, but... I mean, I feel like anyone who's aware of Haruhi will already know it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's one of those super famous ones that just, like... If you're into anime, you already know if you can tolerate something like that. Like, mm -hmm. if you... And, I, again, it's, it's interesting in that, like... I wouldn't say it's aged poorly, but I also don't feel like it's a must-watch you know, well, like it's it, not even in my top. Oh, of course, 50. it's not yours. Like, but like, even as someone who liked it, like I wouldn't say like, oh yeah, you really need to see Haruhi. Um, I only made you watch it because it was kind of famous. I was like, there's a chance you'll really like this, but no, you hate it. I think that was one my sister really liked. I would not be surprised because yeah. yeah, like it's some people really love it. Uh, it, it it's it's uh, you either love it or hate it. Seems to be the thing. Yeah, I hated it. And you hated yes. Like um, if, if you make Haruhi, just like three points of a better person, I'd like it a lot more. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I totally get that. Like, I think that's a perfectly fair stance to have. And I was like, maybe she is three points of a better person, but she's not. No. no. Uh, yeah. Watch, no. Even watching it with you, I was like, yeah, she's she's worse than I remember. This is going to be a problem. Um, yeah, it was bad. But, I don't know. The, like, I really like the little, like, murder mystery one. and That one like, was cute. And I liked that she figured it out, actually. Yeah. You liked her sister as well. Or his sister, Kyon. His sister. Yeah, Kyon's sister was adorable. She was so cute. Mm -hmm. I'm a little sad. Like, I'm a little sad that we never met the rest of his family. Because I was just like, is he, like, raising his little sister? No. Like. No. It's just, it's standard trope. Like, yeah, actually, no, I you never meet the parents because they're all with teens. That. Like, well, no, just because that's the sort of genre where, like, it's trying to be a little aware of its own genre. They might, in one of the books, be like, oh, wait, I have never met my parents. Like, you know, but... <laughs> and then they meet them, and then they're like... Wah, 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 yeah, I wah, wah, have wah, no wah. idea if they do anything with that. I, but otherwise, I would say he's just a... Um, yeah, he's, they, he's they've all got normal families. It's just, it's really common in that genre. Yeah, just leave anyone. them out, yeah. Did anyone get my wah, wah, wah reference? I did. Could anyone else have answered that question? I'm not going to say. I want to know if anybody got it. Oh, I see. I want to know what kind of scum you Watch your show. <laughs> hey! That is a very cute cartoon. How dare you? Well, that was my point. If you don't know the reference, like, who are you? Oh, okay. Now I understand. Uh, it's not your fault if you don't know. Oh, you whatever. might be young. <laughs> it's still a crime. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. It absolutely is. <laughs> You're funny. And that is the end of Full Moon Silhouette Day 1. I got 4 hours and 16 minutes of footage. So, the actual pattern is done. I just get to make it into an ornament thingy. So that'll be day 2. Do you have anything like you would like to say as a man? Not particularly at this moment in time. His foot is right there. He's 100% here. <laughs> it looks like I'm tickling your foot. <laughs> Not into feet. I, mm, 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 mm. Especially your snaggle toenails. They ripped the bed sheets. We had to get new bed sheets because your snaggle toenails ripped them. I don't think we have any proof it was me. Yeah. It wasn't me. I'm just saying, it never happened when I lived alone. The hole was there when I moved in. Yeah. I'm suspicious. <laughs> Alright, that is the end. Like, subscribe, share, comment, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I did my finger thingy way too early. <laughs> Is that recording? Yes. Good.